All right, so welcome to the uh, October uh, community meeting. We only have a couple things we want to bring up um, as far as big th pieces of advice, uh, not advice, of announcements. Uh, the first thing being that our squad unit leadership is now completed. It's rolling through the initial um, staff run-throughs, and uh, it's looking good. Um, so more information on that. Uh, it's going to be available to staff so we can get the certs done for the events first and then uh, roll out to regs and pubbies soon thereafter, after a grace period. After a certain amount of time, the only people allowed to squad lead will be SL certed and regs. Uh, you have to have both the, the reg tag and the SL cert to squad lead in the ops. Um, but anyone with the pre uh, th with three prerequisites can take the course to learn more about how to squad lead for vanilla play or even uh, for fire team leading within our operations. Um, but yeah, so that's all the information regarding that. Um, does anyone have any uh, any questions regarding that? You know, I'm making a new channel in here. Um, all right, there. I made a new channel called Community Questions just for this, just what we're deleting it after this. So just if you have anything you want to type, type it in there because uh, that's where everything will go. Um, if if you can't find it, it's right above community meeting here in this yeah. area. How do you how do you SL cert? You have to have the three prerequisite certs, which are the uh, which are the um, basic cert, which everyone should technically already have, and then the uh, AWS and vehicle certs, and then you just sign up for an SQL course. Uh, this is a pass fail course, the first of its kind. Um, there will be more, uh, more pass fail courses, not too many. We don't, we won't flood SOTT, but we do plan on having a commanders. This is far, far commander and, uh, piloting, which will most likely be pass fail, uh, simply because those are rather important, um, slots, but right now we're focusing on rolling SUL out the door. So just worry about that. The, uh, yeah, piloting like helos, right? Um, how long would the SL course take and anything you can share on the basic structure of the course? Uh, it follows the same. Hutch, you want to answer this question? Yeah, I'd love to. So essentially, uh, course plan for at least like like about a two-hour block of time, right? And ba in, in basic, like Reader's Digest version, it's going to cover aspects of small unit leadership that pertain to the fire team leader. And then it talks about aspects about small unit leadership that pertain to the squad leader. And then basic attack principles and defense principles. And there'll be practical applications along the way that are all force on force. So you're playing against other players um, for all the practical gaps. So most of the other SOTTs are going to be um, you firing at a range, right? And not a two-way range where you're actually fighting against other players. So, and the intent of this is to set it up to have lessons learned, right? And so. Essentially, with the fire team leader practical application course, you're going to have uh, half the class operating and the other half watching while the instructors are critiquing what they just covered and went over. And the whole thing is going to be a lot more um, interactive in that, like, the instructors will be there to also lead discussions. So all the students will be participating and talking and saying, hey, this was a good idea, this wasn't, and so on and so forth. So we're all learning from each other, essentially. So instead of it just being sitting down, and having an instructor speak the whole time, it's gonna be a lot more interactive, all right? So essentially in short, that's sort of what the small unit leadership course covers and they're, and they're building blocks. So one lead, you know, builds onto another and so on and so forth between being a fire team leader and a squad leader, right? So it's, it's relevant for both. That's why we called the small unit leader and not squad leaders course, right? It's relevant for both fire teams and squad leads. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. um rose asks will you need extras non trainees for the sl training to help with the course hutch uh no the uh the students will be the the players fighting against it's not like a setup scenario um where you're going to need like uh, like an op four team um set up so two structures can run it and then we have a max amount essentially of um 18 players total for uh students that can get run through this course with uh, two instructors present. Fantastic. 
Uh, any other questions regarding SUL? Before we move on. No. No? Okay. Um, I think moving several on to the next, the next uh, thing I want to talk... Wait, what's that again? I think there's several questions related to it in the questions. Uh, class size is uh, based on... I'm sorry. I, I skimmed he just said this. it. Uh, well, I mean, he already just said it. 18. Okay. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean there's several questions? Now I'm confused. Well, what criteria will you be graded? I wasn't criteria you'll be graded on is... Uh, All right. Yeah, yeah, go for that. Yeah, so essentially, instead of like, did they... Instead of there being like a checklist, it's it's really simple. It's kind of like... It's ensuring that the students are mature, right? That they can lead, right? So they got to, they, they can't just be like, I want to do small unit leader and then not be able to lead and communicate. So essentially, it's learning how to communicate effectively, right? Lead and follow orders, have maturity, and grasp the simple tactical concepts that are involved. So if, like, if a, if a person that's interested in taking small unit leader is doing things that are tactically just wrong, outright and they're not catching those concepts then obviously we're not going to be like yeah go be a squad leader right so it's it's really pretty simple i don't foresee a lot of people failing on it i think the biggest areas where people could fail or have the potential of failing would be on an aspect of maturity or um communication right but even then that's what gravitates us all to play squad ops or be a part of squad ops um and playing squad in general is you have to communicate right so that's why we made it pass or fail. So it's not just like something you go through and then they get pushed through the process and it's all familiarization, but that there is some sort of filter set in place. That's how it's pass or fail. But as long as you show up and you have good initiative and you're able to make smart tactical decisions, right? And it's not like you can't mess up here and then you're screwed, you know? But maturity, I think, is one of the biggest things that we're looking for there and just the ability to lead and have a good tactical mindset on you, right? So does that answer your question? I mean, you can't answer me on that, but yeah, there you go. Hopefully that answers your question. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the next thing we want to talk about is whitelist one is now completely locked. Uh, we're right in the center of locking that down. Uh, Barton, you want to talk about locking down whitelist one? Spartan here. He is, but I don't think he's here, here. All right, so we're locking down whitelist one to full-on reserve slots so that it's completely 100% whitelisted. We're going to try to pop that. We haven't tried it in a while, and then we're going to keep whitelist two to our standard uh, 2060. No, 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 I'm sorry. Fucking what the hell? Eight, like 872. Uh, um, does that make sense, everyone? He's this will go into effect literally as soon as we get the server licensing sorted. It's just a little weird right now. So literally as soon as possible. Uh, this means that the only people you'll be playing squad with are people from um, squad ops who have registered on the whitelist. So exciting stuff. Does anyone have any questions regarding the whitelist besides when and what it is? When? Where do you, I guess where do you register for that? Yeah, so long as you're registered on the on the server. On Our the, website. Uh, on the website. You are good to go. Okay, uh, and then the last, um, that's pretty much what we have in the pipeline. Mod Dev is working on a lot of cool stuff. We're still, of course, uh, waiting for that juicy, juicy um, mod support. But we are working on creating our custom layers and getting all of that stuff sorted. So that stuff should be do done relatively, uh, relatively soon here, hopefully, uh, depending. And then once we have uh, the ability to, we should be able to launch that with uh, the mod support instantaneously. Assuming nothing goes wrong, which of course, something is bound to go wrong. Um, 
But yeah, uh, that's pretty much the majority of things that we want to talk about. Um, anyone from the op staff have anything they want to talk about for the general public? Yeah, for content creation. Oh yeah, yeah, oh. shoot, yeah, yeah, that's one. Mm -hmm. Go. <clears throat> so um, the content creation team is in the process of restructuring a little bit and growing. Uh, and as such, we are going to be opening up applications to the general public uh, for staff applications. You can find the staff application in the README. What we're specifically looking for are people who are skilled in static graphics, meaning like, you know, images, things of that nature, photo manipulation, all that kind of stuff. Um, graphic design, those skill sets would help you quite a lot. Uh, we're also interested in motion graphics, so people who are good with either motion and or After Effects. Uh, After Effects is preferred, but, you know, if you're more into motion, that's fine as well, as long as you can demonstrate your skill. And finally, the last thing we'll be looking for is, like, I'm looking for a really skilled video editor. I have good video editors already. I would like one more. And I'm not talking about, like, I can add a transition here or there. I'm talking about understands the concepts of, you know, syncing music, about, you know, good structure of videos over time, uh, reasonable ways to present information. So those are the three skill sets that I'm looking for, static graphics, motion graphics, as well as a really good video editor, if I can find one. So if you guys have any of those skill sets, please check out the README. There is a staff application link there under the, I believe it's the important links section, something like that. Either way, hit that application up, and I will be checking those in the weeks to come. So there you go. Awesome. Um, yeah. That's pretty something. much. Yeah, go for it, Hyper. Uh, this is something that we kind of messed up on, and it's fell off uh, of our briefing uh, from over time. Oh yes. Uh, however, uh, for our operations we do not allow any streaming of that that was our fault we didn't have it written down anywhere and we never briefed well we fell from briefing it so when you go play in our events the only people that can stream is regulars and above anybody that streams it publicly uh will be uh told to stop and if they do not stop then we will kick you out of the the uh event uh if you come back in and you're still trying to stream we'll we'll just get rid of you completely and ban you from anything dealing with squad ops so, yes, streaming during the events, you are not allowed. However, you can record. You can record the events and throw it up on YouTube. That's fine. We just don't want you guys streaming it. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, definitely hit up the community team. We'll, we can go further into detail if need be. Anyone else have uh, not now? We'll swap it over to you guys. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions regarding anything Squad Ops related. Um, yeah. Unless anyone from staff has anything they want to talk about. Kitchens, you make me sad. <laughs> hey, yeah, I, um, I have a question. I know this is uh -huh. kind of... Um, I've heard, you know, mixed signals from different people and everything. And uh, do you think in the future... And I understand it's perfectly okay with, uh, you know, the way you guys, you know, hand out um, the opportunity to, you know, get a clan tag and everything. But... Do you uh -huh. think in the future you guys could see maybe like a course or maybe a list of things that uh, you know you guys can come into and uh, try to complete to maybe help out Get with the ops the, tag? Uh, yeah, the ops tag and just be more of the community. Uh, yeah, we actually, we actually, uh, that is a direction we would like to go in the future. We're not really set to 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 push it. That's not a priority right now. Um. But it is something that we would like to uh, push is is integrated is creating more of a a larger community in that sense. Yeah, mm -hmm, for sure. Um, whether what, what to what extent and to what that entails, we haven't really really finalized anything. But uh, that is the direction we want. We want to create a big, like solid, well, like rounded, professional. I'm trying to throw in all the fucking yeah, <laughs> all the okay. fucking buzzwords. Yeah, we're trying to just make sure that everything is quality right even from the ground up top down ground up uh, everything is is uh locked down um and so of course being new to this relatively new to this i mean we have been here for maybe a year and a half now but still um there's just certain things that we need to make sure that we don't rush into 
know whether it's just blowing up the community outside of something we control, but definitely once we can control it, we would we would like to uh, ensure that you know that kind of stuff is handled. Thank you. What about rank? Rank like Milsim rank? Yeah, like you know, you guys have the ops tag for you know. Just have like a ranking system instead or something, I guess. Um, rank tag, you know, instead of the ops, we'll have tags showing different rank into oh a new shop. That's, uh, <laughs> that's an interesting concept. We haven't really thought about that at all. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that because we haven't actually, um, we've never, we've never thought about doing something like that. But, uh, I, I, I will, uh, I will. Uh, I will see what we what the staff can put together, and uh, next month we'll see if we have made any progress on some kind of community structure. Just a real quick idea. I used to build on to a, a clan that had a, like the main clan, like ops in the beginning, and then at the end of the the name would be the 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 rank. You know, so you can have the both in one. Just an example. Right. 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 Yeah, we're definitely going to take that into consideration, and we'll see uh, what we can do. Um, no promises, of course, but that's a uh, that's a good uh, that's a good idea. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Anyone else? Is there a roster of current ops members other than Discord? Uh, Discord is probably going to be the most accurate poll you're going to get. Yeah, Discord would is is literally one hundred percent accurate. Got you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anyone else have anything they'd like to discuss? Anyone at all? Can I mention something about the regs? Sure. So I know a lot of you guys want to be regular. It is in the readme basically a brief summary on how to become a regular. It's basically just be active, be nice, don't be that asshole screaming in an op. Don't just be a good person. We'll notice you. We're always event admin. We're doing roll call. We will. I know just, half of your names in here. Yeah. It. Trust me, we'll see you. Excited Solid. about that whitelist server. Yeah, what about the whitelist server? I was you just saying, I'm excited. excited. Oh, you're excited. Okay, I, <laughs> yeah, I misunderstood that. Oh my god, Mancy, that's a name I haven't seen in a long time. Oh. In a long time. Hey, man, so you got to TK me with the mortar again? <laughs> All right. Anyone else have anything they'd like to bring up? V10. Yes. Yep. That'll V10. come out. That'll come it. out when it's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is a thing that's happening, yes. We will know as soon as you guys know when V10 comes out. We legit know shit. <laughs> Give it another three years. Honestly, we do not. We, we know just as much as you guys do. Mitch, you can go ahead and ask if you haven't already. Or not. Okay. <laughs> what? Uh, no, which is in general. He's typing out. Oh, he's in general? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just going to ask real quick. I think this is going to be a pretty short one. We're just uh, letting you know what we got in store for you guys. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any... Uh...
<laughs> I think we should be good to tie it off here. Looks like there. Uh, this is gonna be a pretty short yeah. meeting. We just wanted to Go talk ahead. about. Uh, all right. We just wanted to talk about the. Um, what, uh, and stuff like that. Wonder about cheaters these days. I've played a few rounds, and people have asked about cheaters and squad. Just wanted to know more about what steps I guys take, but you what, what you got, what you can take, or what we can take, as in squad ops. <laughs> okay, so I mean, it's just if you see something funky going on, ad admin here in general that you're in right now, and they'll get on and look at it and see what happens. And if you uh, can record, you you, you normally. Uh, We'll know if the person's cheating because I mean you'll be sitting behind like a freaking wall or a dirt and you're just gonna get one tapped right away. Like you'll know it's it's you can tell when someone's cheating, or you'll see them flying through the air and shit. It's it's some crazy shit that goes happens. But uh, yeah, just uh, when you see something funky going on, just come here and at at uh, in general at admin. Let them know what team it is, uh, what squad, and what the name is, so that way they can track them and find them a lot faster uh, once they get in there and deal with it. And like uh, Matter said, if uh, if you have the uh, if you have the um, I, I I just lost my train of thought. Ability. If you record? have the ability, thank you to record, record it and uh, send it over to any of the admins that you see in green, and uh, they'll take care of it as well. With that as well, it'll it'll get them. Uh, you might not even have to get in if you get a recording of it right away. They'll just ban them around the spot. But if you can't do it, that's fine. Just uh, um, come in general, at admin, let them know what the team, the name, and uh, squad re or squad they're in. That way they can find them and track them, and they'll deal with it. I have a question real quick. Mm -hmm. Sorry if you already uh, covered it. I jumped in like kind of in the last couple of minutes. Do you guys have a routine process for going through reg applications is that like something that happens like every couple of months is that just kind of for excuse me and full of people come up for regs for he was asking for regulars like how Hyper. you guys have like a every couple of months process or is it kind of just as as needed sorry what was the question i was busy in general yeah, I mean, regular answer this. <laughs> yes regular uh, right. what oh my god what <laughs> how did it become a reg Okay, Sorry, how, not, a rig. how how often do you guys accept new regs? Oh, okay. So it's we uh we get a list uh, every week before a staff meeting. We'll go over it. Well, actually, throughout the week, we'll get a compile a list. Uh, we'll vote on people, and then from there, we'll uh, bring them aboard. That's pretty much it, and it happens every week, every one, uh, week to two weeks. We go through the listing. Okay, thank you. I have a question. Shoot. How many votes would one need? That is not your privilege to know. All right. Just because, um, I mean, if I, I can't give everything away because then you guys are going to be like, I know what to do. I know what, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't give away everything we do. It's just, it's a process. So you really need yeah. to be tracking. Just be a nice person. <laughs> yeah. Anyone else have anything they'd like to talk about? You were uh, talking about a list. Is that a list that y'all gather yourself, or is that something that people have to get on? No, it's, it's a list internal. We gather. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you. Yep. And um, don't worry if 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 you've been here for a while. I mean, just just keep pushing through, guys. I mean, there's <laughs> we have over five thousand members in here, so. Yeah, it might take a minute yeah, before like I we said, actually get to the name, you know. Quality control is very important to us. So uh, ensuring that we have everything under control. Yeah, I have to have a quick question about... Sure. You guys mentioned not publicly streaming the uh, the events. Uh, is there any, like, like, main reason why behind that? Yeah, stream sniping. Yeah, that's uh, what I assumed well, it was for a fair just, play stance. Yeah, that and um, we also want to know quality that's going out. So as like, far as live sense. streams, because we have our own official live stream that uh, we run. Yeah, I follow it. Yeah. 
Yeah, and so yeah, that needs what, what to I'm, be. Uh... What I was trying to get at was, uh, we don't want stuff like somebody like freaking like throwing up weird shit, as in like you know, hey, I'm a KKK member or whatever, something like that. You know, we don't want that to become officially affiliated with us or something like that. You know what I'm saying? That's why we kind of like want to control it. Yeah, once again, quality it... control. Right. 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 Okay. Anyone else? Where do you see squad and uh, squad ops in the year? Oh, that's, that's a big question. Um, the leading squad event for sure, for one, the biggest squad community, and hopefully, um, even I mean that happens naturally, but hopefully, even um, having smaller kind of a community mm -hmm. events in other games. I mean that already happens already. Just because squad ops, once you kind of like, if you take the time to know the people, you take the time to play with the people, you start to play other games with other people. So um, we don't plan on jumping into anything like, like Arma, like that. But like just internally, um, you know, we like have a Stellaris group where people play Star Wars RPG together, people play Rocket League together, whatever. Uh, we'd like to be more diverse in a sense where like everyone has something to play if we're not just completely focused on squad um but as far as events we do still plan on being the biggest um squad a uh, squad community and event hosting and and being able to adapt and provide different things for you guys if that makes sense what yes, do we want to provide you for you guys is the answer if you're looking to play with people put something in off topic like looking for a four man in pubg or something like that or head into another game channel. Yeah, that's that's part of what the uh, other game and team channels are kind of like for, is for uh, players to, t in, in the squad ops community, to join up and play, you know, games that are not squad and enjoy their time together and... Get to know you. Get to know each other and have a good time playing games that you like to play outside of squad together. Yeah, so we played a crap ton of COD. <laughs> 20 hours. <laughs> And, and then, guess who like a lot of the a lot of the ops guys are now playing Solaris and all this cool stuff. So, um, yeah, if you're ever looking for like people to play with, like don't just think like this is squad only. Get the fuck out. It's it's very much, it's very much, um, you know, what do you want to play? And maybe someone here likes to play that kind of game too. You know, so we're pretty open minded. Like our one baseline thing that we really, really, really care about is just. Be mature, be professional, don't be a dick, and you're going to be fine here. Does that make sense? And then we'll see how far we can take it. Does that answer so the question? Is through the website the only way to play, the, like, to join the server? Like no, the, no, you can join the server through the default right. uh, squad thingy. Yeah. Default squad. Um server browser once we get and mods Jen had a question in general in general yeah in general oh. mention had a question there mention i don't see it where is it it's the at the bottom. bottom are there any ways we could contribute back to the community ranging from little things we can oh, do okay. to larger more committed things yeah so uh Squad Ops, of course, has, uh, there's multiple different ways. Um, the, the very obvious one being monetary. Um, Squad Ops does have costs for server software, web hosting, and other um, stream costs. Um, so that's one way to contribute. Of course, that's not the only way. Uh, just being here, being active and part of the community, helping out other players, helping out new people, uh, being welcoming. Um, those are all ways to contribute. Uh, and just help foster the growth and just general attitude around uh, squad ops. Because as you know, we're not, this isn't an overly competitive group of people. I mean, sometimes when you play like Rocket League or other games, we can get competitive. But for the most part, like, we don't care if you're good or bad at a game. We just want to have fun uh, <coughs> for the most part. Um, Unless we're playing Call of Duty, but aside from that, um, <laughs> aside from that, uh, yeah, we're we're all we're all pretty chill. Um, just just 
being a great like person around here is like the most straightforward way you can contribute and just make other people want to be here is like one of the biggest things because that's kind of how we grow is a lot of our stuff comes organically through word of mouth or just natural discovery right we don't actually like push advertising or stuff like that so the people in this community are what make this community not how we sell it or anything like that so that's one of our most powerful assets and why we have such tight control over the quality of people is because we understand that that is that is what makes us us is the community if that answers your question that's kind of long-winded and drawn out but yeah got more questions you think in. you will host servers on hell at least our postscriptum as of this moment right now um we officially don't have plans to host things However, it's so early in development that we have no idea what those games are going to look like, really. Um, we would sure like to participate and play those games, um, but as far as moving the entire platform over to another game, as of right now, that is not necessarily uh, something we're, we're looking to do in the near future we're pretty focused on squad as far as event hosting but i you can be damn sure there's going to be a lot of ops members playing those those games i'm sorry i just came in you're talking about like hell at loose postscriptum mm -hmm. oh. and uh we'll see uh we'll see where it goes sunny says do you think squads will ever get into iskt scene um not really like i said before this whole platform that we built is really non-competitive uh like a lot of the uh, ops guys right the whole ops idea is a non-competitive idea it's very much um it's very much uh an experience platform so that's we don't really participate in too many esports ish areas if we do um they usually in other games like Rocket League and stuff like that, we're we're more inclined to be competitive because we believe that squad is meant to be a uh, experience platform, right? Not a competitive platform, and uh, that's just our main belief. Um, of course, it's not everyone's belief, but that's the main idea behind Squad Ops: is that Squad is not a competitive game; it's an experience. But yeah, anyone else? Does anyone still use the Squad Ops Reddit? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Some people still do. We got to kick some life into that thing. You got more questions in general. <laughs> um, is there a map making system like make new maps? Uh, is Hamlet here? Pony? No. Yeah. Hamlet. Um. Yeah. yeah, I'm here. You want to kick this one? Um, is this in general? Or is this in... It's in general. Okay, going up. Do, 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 do. Is there any map making system like make new maps? Um, so yeah, currently what we're working on is, is entirely just modifying existing maps and specifically the layers on existing maps to bring them more in line with our, uh, our operations. Uh, let's see. A good example of that would be uh, for Operation Whirlwind, the most recent out that we just ran. We've, we've made some extensive modifications to the Radio Tower Hill. Uh, I'll, I'll get that pulled up in the SDK and probably send a, a screenshot of what it looks like after we went over and modified it to fit with like the op lore, which, for example, is uh, that a U.S. recon team was up on the Radio Tower Hill and the insurgents, you know, they, they took out the, the little U.S. base up there and now they're, they're manning it and the U.S. has been sent in to root them back out again. But yeah, it's, it's mostly just looking at the various layers of squad and modifying things like we're getting rid of main base protections. That way, when we have lops where there's logistics being run, we can go in and actually destroy the convoy without having to worry about, you know, running into this invisible barrier that defeats all bullets, rockets, and personnel. And uh, yeah, it's really just all about making things more in line with what the ops look at the moment. We, we do have, um, <clears throat> I think in the future, plans to make a couple of custom maps of our own that we could play ops and regular squad matches on, but at the moment it's it's entirely focused on making layers for operations out of existing squad maps.
Any other questions? Another question for you in community questions. <clears throat> Funny. Modifying maps to fit upload, do you modify terrain and large cover? Do you put in details that could potentially harm frame rate? Uh, so no, we, we don't do extensive modifications to terrain, and that's entirely because of how the layer system works, right? So uh, the way it works is that gameplay layers are these, these add-ons on top of the existing maps. So you have a map layer with all the geometry of the map and all the buildings, all the foliage, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> and that, that serves as the base. Then gameplay layers just add things. We can never take things away and we can never modify like the base structure of the map because that would that would require changes to the master like map layer. And we, we can't do that without making you guys download hundreds of, of megabytes or even <laughs> several gigabytes of files for, for the mod, you know, when it comes out, which would be a huge pain. Uh, so obviously we, we just add things, right? Like we add fortifications here or there. We maybe add a machine gun, if, you know, for example, there's captured 50 cals that the insurgents will get access to up on their, up there on Radio Tower Hill that the U.S. had with them when they were pushed off of it. It's, it's no, it's, it's nothing, nothing crazy. We're not, like, radically restructuring the maps, uh, like carving rivers out or anything like that. And plus, of course, if we if we did eventually get into making more drastic modifications, by then the game should have undergone some optimization passes, and it, it should not really destroy your frame rates that much. Uh, Rose Dragon ops ideas and documents should go to whom for review? Uh, I believe that that is... Xbit and Hutch at this point. Am I correct on that? That's correct. Yeah, I'd say send them to Xbit first, or and then I or, or myself. I've been AFK yep. for a bit just due to work and everything. So yeah, Xbit is going to be the the primary on that. Ops Xbit. Xbit, you want to take that one? How overloaded are you on Ops already? Uh, we get one to two Op ideas every week, and the list is growing. So right. a lot. Yeah, we we got a lot of ideas, but we'll still take them. You know, always looking for something interesting, something new. These portions of the maps that maybe in vanilla squad play don't get used a lot would be interesting for for something to fight over. I have a question. Shoot. Uh, are you guys planning any like um, special themed operation for Halloween? Xfit. <laughs> uh, all the operations except for Nightmare in the month of October are brand new, and they all kind of scary themed. Like operation so. trick or treat. <laughs> I think yeah. he's mean more of like actually on Halloween. Yeah, Halloween, Halloween. Like maybe some community organized like zombie game or something. Pistols only. I don't know. <laughs> something Pistols. fun. What's that? What's that game we did? My uh, Karma, or that? Beast or whatever in the tunnels. When oh, fortress? It was, a, it was a while ago. I don't even remember. <laughs> it's like beat where like one person's like the zombie or whatever, and he goes and kills them, and then that gets them infected. Oh yeah, it's just that. That, yeah, zombies. Yeah, we could do something like that. Let's see why not. Uh, are there any plans to make fun events that leave the serious tone behind? Mm, I would say no. Not for our actual general ops. Fun events? Maybe as, as I mean, I, not right now anyway. 
Yeah, right now we're pretty. Uh, we're 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 always coming up with interesting ideas. We're trying to figure out what people want to see and what people want to play. As of right now, um, we're pretty fo- focused on uh on making sure our ops are are stable and good to go. We got a new one every month. <laughs> I think our ops are fine. <laughs> Um, as you, uh, yeah, I think we're going to next ops IRL meet next time. So we're all together, I guess. Hmm. We've talked about it, but we haven't like really like discussed, discussed, like really got down to it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a shoot at Hutcher's ranch next year. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) All right, I think we're going to tie it off here and uh, knock this one out. Unless anyone has any final questions, we'll take a last couple. Um, and then we're going to push off. I guess we're set. All right, thank you all so much for being uh, part of the community. Um, all right, well, I'll answer this one last question in general. In the far future, could you see doing a campaign of sorts? Uh, we're already we're already rolling those out um, in due time. We we tested our first one a little while back, and we're gonna start pushing these uh, new ones here momentarily. All right. Thank you all for coming to the October uh, community meeting. Um, thank you so much for being part of the community and being, you know, upstanding, professional, and mature people. Go. What's up? Uh, this Hell Wednesday, yeah. I forgot to mention, this Wednesday is an open op event. That's for participants for anybody to get into. So you do not have to have the basic uh, tag for that. You, anybody can join in for that. Fabulous. And it's a one and done op. Sorry, I was screaming. I was listening to a video too at the same time. (laughs) (laughs) I can answer your front line radio real quick. Uh, I don't matter. Yeah, you want to answer any remaining questions, but we're gonna we're gonna dip out for the official meeting. All right. All right. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Karma.